due to financial constraints, Kim Zalshik and Croy Bierman engaged in an intense, police-involved brawl, report. Kim Zalshik and Croy Bierman got into an argument earlier this week because of their severe financial circumstances, although the Real Housewives of Atlanta starlet and retired NFL athlete appeared to be making amends, and even celebrated their 12th wedding anniversary together. Their marriage began to fall apart again due to simmering money concerns, TMZ reported early Wednesday. The estranged couple had been battling for almost a week, but their feuding reached a climax on Monday when they got into an extremely loud confrontation, prompting one of their children to phone the cops. Zalshik, 45, and Bierman, 38, had been living together under the same roof, albeit in different parts of the house. Three cops and a supervisor were dispatched to the couple's Georgia mansion, which is for sale for $6 million. It's unclear who of the couple's four minor children called the cops. The Don't Be Tardy alumni have been in financial trouble for quite some time, having twice faced foreclosure on their mansion. Zalshik and Bierman were able to reach a deal to keep their home and use the proceeds to pay off some of their rising debt. A judge ordered the former Bravolberti to pay a bank $230,000 last month after she failed on a home equity line of credit. She's also being sued by Saks, Capital One for racking up more than $150,000 in unpaid credit card fees, and she and Bierman were also taken to court by Rolls-Royce for skipping payments on their $400,000 vehicle. Zalshik recently began selling her designer products again, ostensibly to recuperate some money, but dismissed it as having a ton of stuff I bought over the years so selling what I don't want. During the summer, the former reality star reportedly plundered her daughter Brielle's clothes for cash. She highlighted Chanel purses at $5,500 and $7,000 Louis Vuitton shoes for $500 and Prada boots for $700.